Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn, not Capricorn, I'm so sorry, I just did Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, so uh, you can apply to set any of your placements because anything can come up. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what messages we have for you from your guys, your angels, and your ancestors. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the, no hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. All right, so tell me about uh, Taurus. Messages uh, for Taurus from their guys and their angels and their ancestors here for February 2024 for Taurus. For Taurus, for Taurus. We have the lovers here and the hermit, Virgo energy. Seems like you guys are seeking out or that you guys are being guided to seek out self-love for yourself. Nourish yourself, nurture yourself, take some time out, you know, and work on you. Uh, you know, that hermit energy is a energy of self-reflection, sitting with yourself, looking for answers deep within yourself uh, to, you know, cultivate what you want, to manifest what you want. Uh, you know, keep in mind, you know, the things that we're meant to do in life. You know, when we get reincarnated, when we get sent down to this earth, you know, it it's written in the stars, you know, it's embedded into your DNAs here. Okay, so we have the 10 of wands here and also the nine of wands here. I feel like you're feeling really overwhelmed right now. Yeah, with emotion, because I feel like there's a sense of finding yourself here too, because I feel like you've felt kind of lost here. You know, that 10 of wands and that nine of wands to me could also be a representation of a traumas and burdens that you're trying to release here too. Ace of cups here and the three of pentacles, interesting. I do feel like, you know, there are people in around you that's supporting you on this journey here, but I feel like you're getting into this place where, place where your heart is just really full. Yeah, just very abundant here. And I feel like you guys are radiating this energy of love here, okay? And I feel like a lot of people are feeling safe or very comfortable here with you. Tell me about the lovers here. The lovers, Gemini energy with the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the uh, Hermit. Why is a Hermit here? And we have the Ace of Swords, wow. You guys are having some sort of major breakthrough here. It's kind of like a thing where, oh, this is all I had to do in order for me to like cultivate and manifest healthy relationships with other people. It's just starting with myself. So this major breakthrough is leading towards healing here. You know, it's leading towards releasing things that are no longer serving you here, Taurus. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, we have two tens here. Yeah, the world. So I do feel like whatever you've been holding on to, you know, whatever cycle that you've been going through, I do feel like this cycle is definitely coming to a close here. You know, because I do, you know, some torrents are ten, like they tend to hold on to things you know some torrents uh, tend to like you know are slower to take action here because it is a fixed energy here but i feel like you're definitely uh, having some sort of major breakthrough where i feel like okay this is it i cannot keep doing to, to myself you know because i'm suffering you know i'm you know creating this uh, you know i'm creating things that are, are not really there you know so we have the moon cancer pisces energy here in the four of wands look at that Look at what you're creating for yourself here. Happiness and stability, okay? So I feel like the way that you've been operating in life, I feel like that's completely shifting. I feel like you're shifting, shifting your consciousness. I feel like you're shifting your paradigm here, okay? What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on what other messages do we have for, for Taurus from their guides and their angels and their ancestors here? So, you know, I do feel like you're being guided to do this. Okay, some of you guys could be actively doing this right now or that you guys are about to do this. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Seven of Swords. You're definitely stepping away from an energy of self-sabotage here. 
yeah, you're definitely stepping away from an energy of self-sabotage. Like I said, I feel like, you know, there is a, a suffering that you've been in, and I feel like a lot of times, you know, a lot of times the suffering that we go through in life, it's definitely self-inflicted. Yes, obviously there are assholes that are out there that hurt us, but at the end of the day, you know, when people hurt us like that, at the end of the day, the healing that we have to do is falls in falls in our hands. You know, it's our responsibility, you know? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, it, it would be nice, you know, when someone hurts us to give us a sincere apology and give us an explanation. But a lot of the times, you know, these people uh, won't give you that. So you have to find that closure on your own, right? So we have the Three of Cups here and we have the Two of Wands here. I feel like you're also not giving energy to people anymore that are not equally reciprocating that energy back. Some of you guys have decisions to make about your your your, your friend group here, your so, your circle here, your soul tribe, because I do feel like there are certain people in your soul tribe here, in your friend group that is not in alignment with who you are as a person here. And it's time to let those people go. And I feel like one of the things I'm getting here with the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups here, I feel like you're choosing happiness. I feel like you're choosing to learn from the past and not live in the past here, okay? Um, so, you know, I do feel like you're making a decision to choose something for yourself, to want something for yourself here, and not be stuck in this kind of like this energy that it, we've been talking about. Tell me about the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords here and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Six of Pentacles here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Things are changing in a big way here for you. Yeah, I do feel like karmic lessons are being learned here. Karmic lessons, you know, karma is being cleared out here too. Yeah, there's a major release that's happening here. And I feel like this major release has everything to do with you and things that has happened to you throughout your life here. This could also be past life stuff here too, Taurus. Okay, Seven of Swords here and the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords here. Not the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups here, and the Four of Pentacles. Wow. This is something that you've worked really hard on. You know, I feel like there's a lot of self-work that you've been uh, doing here. And I feel like a lot of it is really paying off here. You know, I just feel like you have actively chose to take the driver's seat here and not hand your power away to other people. Perhaps that's what you've done in the past. But like I said, I do feel like there's a huge consciousness shift a huge paradigm shift here and i do feel like it's definitely leading towards like personal victory and success here for you guys so this looks really good for you taurus and i feel i really love this for you guys so taurus i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i will speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye